Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World and uh, I'm here to open or to do the rest of the opening of this huge thread up box. It's 50 pounds and I did a few of the things the other day after my what sold video um, but I'm going I have to do the rest of it because I need things to list. So uh, I'm a reseller on eBay, mostly eBay, some on Poshmark, and I use a cross-listing uh, list perfectly extension to do that with. <clears throat> and uh, I needed, uh, I ran out of drafts actually, and I actually I had to pull some things here that I'm going to show you, and quick take pictures of them so I can get them on right away. Uh, I only listed, I think, five things today, and that's not enough. So I have to add some more and put make my drafts for tomorrow. So let's get right to this. Um, things that I have, well, let me tell you, I, I paid $120 for this box. It's 50 pounds. Uh, Depending on what's in it, you don't know how many items that is till the end. Uh, the other day, I pulled 18 items. So this is the rest of the items. So it'll be whatever, how many these are plus the 18. And then I'll be able to figure out how much that uh, they cost a piece. Uh, the shipping was $8.10, so I actually paid $128.10 for the entire box. So out of the 18 things that I have already pulled, uh, I had one blouse that I have to send through the wash. Hopefully there's a grease spot on it, and hopefully I can get that out with a, a spot cleaner. Uh, there was a couple things with no tags whatsoever, and those are always, to me, a pain. Hi, Estella. I'm glad you could join. Happy New Year to you, too. Yeah, this is the rest of the 50-pound uh, box. I only pulled out 18 things the other day, so it's still full. So I will uh, pull the rest of these things out. Uh, I did I did pull out six things, I think, and photographed them already, and this is one of the items. Uh, this is Athleta. There's the emblem. And it's a pair of stretch uh, pants, a capri lane in gray, nice and soft. So those are always good to list. Uh, there, did I say a medium? Yeah, size medium. I also pulled out this uh, sports bra. Uh, this is by the brand Head, which I know is a skiing brand when we used to ski. Uh, but this is a sports bra. It has pads in that are removable. It's a size small in this pink color. It has a racer back on it. A nice, nice condition sports bra. Uh, the other thing I pulled out was this sweatshirt. Now, this is by a brand that I have no idea. I finally found it on Google. It's LJ Black. I couldn't find it. In Poshmark, I couldn't find it in um, eBay, but I did find it on Google. And it seems to me that ThreadUp is the only one that has this brand. So I have no idea. It's a size medium. It's sort of a cute sweatshirt. It's um, just gray, but it has this lace overlay uh, on it over the shoulders and the front and the back is like this it has its own little 
its own little uh, logo there. It's three, like three bars. I tried to uh, use Google Lens to find out information about that, and that didn't help me at all. So, uh, just a gray sweatshirt with some tr lacy trim by L. J. Black. The other thing I pulled out, I was pulling things out that didn't need ironed so I could quick photograph them. Um, this is Chloe and Katie. When I first pulled it out, I thought this has to be a just a kid's or a girl's. But when I looked up the brand, it's a woman's brand. This is a uh, just a sweater, sweater vest uh, with a cute neck on it in this sort of dark teal blue. It looks more navy on there, but it's more teal. Uh, it's a size small. It certainly is small. But I'll list it as a women's because that's what the brand says. Didn't mention anything about being anything about being girl size. So got that. And I pulled this out. It felt really nice, but there's no uh, there's no well, it's cut out. I think I think the um, fabric tag is cut out here. This is by Mango. It says mango suit next to it. I don't know if this is a beach cover up. Could be. Could be what that means. Suit. I have no idea. It's silky, uh, flowy top with some paisley design. And uh, it's just a pretty little sort of a shift uh, dress, if that's what it is. Uh, I looked it up, and most all these, anything to do with mango suit or mango has to do with, it's like a UK brand. So this may be more well known in the UK, but I can't find much about it here. It's nice feeling, and it's uh, just a flowy, uh, silky shift it could be like i said could be a beach cover-up but i don't know i'll have to look up more information about that and the other thing i pulled out was in fact this was just a cute little top it's uh sleeveless has a peplum it zips on the side here and the back is completely sheer the top of the back is all sheer. <clears throat> a cute little peplum. Just, it's a really cute top. I've never heard of this brand. All it is, it says 10, 18. It has an anchor in the middle there. So I haven't been able to find this brand either. So it is a cute top. But. More research. The trouble with, uh, this is what I'm finding with thread up things. Uh, if people send in to thread up things without labels of any kind, it can be a fabric label, it can be a size label, they won't take it to sell it. Uh, it either goes in these rescue boxes or it goes back to the person. Gregory Roger, hi. Or it goes back to the person uh, if they paid to have them returned. So if they're in the rescue boxes, now you have the problem of trying to find out about the brand. And this all takes time when you're trying to list really fast. So that is the one problem I see on it with thread up things. Uh, but... They don't say you're going to get 100% wonderful things either. Things uh, can be wrong with the items you get. Uh, here's a... Uh, 
This is by Apple. I think I have one of these that I've had for a long time. It's a t-shirt with the Apple logo on it. I don't know if this is one, uh, a t-shirt that was worn by people that worked at Apple. I don't know. It's a size medium. That's the only logo it has. The Apple logo. It's just a, uh, this is a blue short sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> Here's a sort of stretchy top with, uh, I don't know what you call this, sort of a see-through netting. And do I see a tag? No. That's not good. Well, here's a logo. I will have to Google Lens this and see because I it doesn't look familiar to me. So if anybody knows what this is, I hope you can see that logo. It's like three circles. Can you see that logo? Does anybody know what that is? Uh, it's the only thing that's on here that I can see. This is a little tunic, long sleeve. Like I said, it has this netting, it has thumb holes. It's stretchy. I don't see any other labels in here. Uh, which is, that is the one thing that's maddening to me when things don't have labels. I swear, I will never cut out another label of things that I send off to Goodwill. So it's sort of this mauve color. I have no idea what the size is and no idea what the brand is. So if anybody... uh knows what that is. Hi, Christian Jean. Hi. Happy New Year. Here's something. Oh. There's, here's something sheer and large. And it has a tag. Taggy French. Taggy French is the brand. This is just a very large it's just like one big piece in the with the armholes. <laughs> it's hard to show here. Let me see how long this is. This is some sort of a cover-up. Oh, it's a maxi. It goes all the way to the floor. It's a great big flowy piece. And let me see if it has any kind of a label and sign. It's large. It's very long. <clears throat> I don't see. It could it could be in here. I'm just not uh, seeing it. This is an awful lot of material. I'm thinking it's probably a cover up of somehow, but it's a maxi length in this uh, pretty multicolor. Here's something easier to handle. Just a little pair of shorts. They're like uh, sweatshirt material, you know, fleece. They're by John Galt uh, from California. Stretchy top. Just a little pair of shorts. I don't know if somebody cut these off. No, that's stitched. So just a pair of uh, little 
cut off shorts. I don't know what the size is because, of course, that's been cut off. Whoop, here's some tags. It's a medium, believe it or not. No, that's not an M. Made in Italy. Wow. All cotton, made in Italy. Don't know the size. Little pair of sweat shorts. <laughs> this is, what is this? By Divided. Divided is a an H&M brand. This is just a little black blouse with a uh, elastic neckline. And it has elastic around the waist there and a tiny little ruffle or peplum, if you want to call it that. Uh, sleeves are long and have elastic and a little fringe, not fringe, a little ruffle. This is a crepey type of fabric. Uh, it's a size zero. Size zero. I divided. <clears throat> I can already tell this is going to be a confusing piece, uh, but it does have a brand. The brand, some strings. I'm going to pull this. The brand is Lolly, L O L L Y. It sort of looks sort of like tie dye. The bottom is very confusing. I think it's a big drapey crossover front. It won't show up right until I get it on the mannequin. But it's very soft and has uh, like three quarters or elbow sleeves. Uh, just a drapey, stretchy, slinky piece by Lolly. Have to figure that out later. <laughs> The bright, bright red pair of pants by Old Old Navy. They're rock star. This is about the only ones that I ever sell. Rock star, mid rise, bright red, size two regular. Just a pair of tapered skinny jeans. I old navy. Another pair of pants. Uh, these are plaid. A plaid pair of gray with a little bit of blue in there. Uh, J. Crew. Three sixty-five. Cameron. That's the uh, style Cameron in a size two. There's the tag. Oh, lined. I'm not sure here. No, not lined. They are made of. Polyester, viscose, and elastane. So just a pair of little dress pants. And uh, those fake pockets. So fake pockets. Huh. Uh, plaid dress pants.
This is by Crave Fame by Almost Famous. Almost Famous makes uh, jeans and little shorts. They're, it's not a real high end brand. And this is a little, a little top with a tie, buttons down the front there, if you can see, and then ties at the bottom. It's a cute little top. Has some lace overlay here. A little puff sleeves. This goes across the back. Cute little blouse. Well, I like these. These are this is chambray with an elastic waist and a self tie. And they are by Loft and Taylor Loft. Just a wide leg. I don't know if those are those don't look all the way to the ankle, but let's see. No, they're like <clears throat> they're like a mid calf, wide leg, nice cool. I'm sure, they're cotton. Uh, Lyocell. They're all Lyocell. That's what makes them so soft. A chambray blue color. Something woolly. This is a little skirt. It's a skirt with a buckle. It doesn't open there though. It's just a fake, fake buckle close. Uh, and this is by, don't tell me. This is by nobody because the tag that used to be right there has been cut out. That is just maddening to me. It's all lined. It feels like wool. But if they cut out that brand tag, they pro probably cut out the fabric tag. So this is no tag at all. My least favorite thing of all. A little black and gray and white plaid. Cute little pencil skirt, but no tags. It's a sweater. This is from The Gap. Extra small. It's a navy blue. Crew neck uh, has some cable stitching and some different type of stitching down the front there. Long sleeve, just a new, uh, nice, feels like cotton. It's a size extra small. It is it's on here somewhere. It's just that I can't read all this little tiny writing. Uh, how can it not be? Oh, there it is. 100% cotton. Yes, a, cotton, a little cotton sweater. Very basic. He's <clears throat> just wadded up in here. Here's a hoodie of some kind. J. Crew Rumpled French Terry is the brand. J. Crew Rumpled. 
French Terry. This is a medium. It's in a hoodie. Long sleeve zips up the front. Has pockets. Double zipper. The Terry is inside, like inside of its Terry car. Or it feels like that. The outside just feels like, I don't know. Be with the lighting in here, I'm not sure. I think this is just gray, dark gray. Uh, little hoodie. Here is a sport coat by Talbot's. Talbot's size 10 in this little plaid. This is cute. Three button. Looks like wool. Oh, it has arm uh, elbow patches on it. Four button sleeve. It's all lined. Very nice looking uh, jacket. It's fitted. The back, see it has like a fitted belt type looking thing there and a, and a pleat. So this would be really cute on. It's a nice uh, Talbot's jacket, career piece. There, and it's hung up. Uh, this is by RVN. Never heard of it. RVN. I'm not sure if this is a teensy mini skirt. I think this is a tunic. It has like a handkerchief hem bottom on it. Black and red. Or geographic, whatever they call this design. It's a little bit longer in the back or with the bum. I don't see a size. But it's by R V N. If you can see that, probably not. R V N. It's stretch. It's a oh here's a tag. stretchy, extra small, made in the USA. It is visco viscose and nylon. <laughs> so this could be really cute when I get it on the mannequin. Different. Here's a little uh, paper bag type shorts. L O G G, label of graded goods it stands for, and it's a size. Oh, this is an H and M brand. <laughs> uh, it's a two. Size two. They're like a charcoal or a really washed out black. Uh, soft paper bag. Elastic waist. Has pockets and a self belt. Tie belt. Those would be nice and cool in the summertime. Has all its tags. Of course, I can't read them anymore. It's all Lyle cell. That's why it's so soft. A little pair of shorts. It's good. Here's something with lots of straps. OK. 
Okay, it's a little top. His double straps here. And the back. They cross in the back. And it's just a little, little top by, it's a small polyester and spandex. However, the brand remains a mystery. I don't even know where the brand name would be. Because it's not there and it doesn't look anything has been cut out. So, oh, Exertion. It's way up there. This is by Exertion, which is a uh, activewear brand. This little top. Cute. <laughs> this is little. All cut out. It's just a little stretchy black and white top. I may stop listing this, this kind of stuff because it's just maddening. Uh, you have no idea who made it, anything about the size. May go right back to Goodwill. <clears throat> So if anybody out there uh, sends things to thread up, please know that they won't sell it if it doesn't if it has any of the tags missing. This is an old navy little uh, just a little stretchy t-shirt, orange and white stripe. It's in a size medium. Maybe gap, but at least it has a tag. <laughs> Here's an Athleta brand. You can tell by the buttons. In a size <clears throat> six. There's the Athleta tag. It's a pair of shorts. Or no, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's a skirt. Is it a squirt? No, it's a skirt. This is a little, just a little skirt, black skirt, like nylon type material, has pockets, <clears throat> a zipper. So it says Athleta size six. Little skirt. I think these this zipper is these pockets. This is a zippered pocket to put things in. Been here. Something with lace up. This is by H Connect in a size small in like a uh, lightweight denim, uh, raw edges, and I think a raw edge on the bottom. It's like a tunic, could be a small, uh, could be a mini skirt. It's like a sheath. Not a sheath, a shift. It's straight. Just with this little lace-up uh, front here. Probably a little tunic. Short sleeve. Is very soft and stretchy. Renee, Renee C. 
made in the USA. This could be, no, it's a little skirt. This is a little mini dress. It has an elastic waist, just a floral. It's, uh, it's either black or a dark navy blue, which I can never tell. Elastic waist, and it could be almost knee length. with the tank top type thing. This is new with tags by Blue Time. Blue Time, size large. This is like an open cardigan. I see a lot of ironing here. It's an open cardigan. It's a real uh, slinky type knit. Little short like elbow sleeves and the bottom looks like it had, well look at the front. It's like a rounded front and goes down and the back has that uh, ruffly thing. In a light green by Blue Time. Never heard of it. I bet this would feel good on though. It's really soft. Okay, this is a halter top, strap around the neck, it has metal buttons, and it's, oh, by Guess Jeans, stretch, size small. There's the tag, nice big tag, Guess Jeans. Just this little halter top with buttons down, real short. Fairly to the waist. <clears throat> the uh, buttons have uh, loops instead of buttonholes. And the buttons are real. I don't know what they are on the button. Something. Could be just flowers. This fabric almost feels like canvas. <laughs> kind of strange. Little tiny vest, halter vest. It's a pair of shorts by RD Style in a small. They don't feel very good quality. And they have a lot of pilling here at the pocket. Uh, that's, I don't know if those are worth listing or not. I have to look it up, but they don't look to be very much of anything. <clears throat> RD style. Oops, pull on shorts. Something sheer, a little blouse. It's by Banana Republic in a medium. It has little cap sleeves and a tie. Oh, it has little buttons down the front with some pleating and a tie that you can probably pull and make this a little tighter, and a little peplum. Kind of pretty. Purpley colors. Oh, here's something with cats on it. Uh, 
a little cat top. That's cute. This is by H&M. Has a button on the back and a keyhole and little cats. Little cap sleeve. This is like a crepey type of fabric. I'm sure this is a smaller and extra small. Here, size four. Cute little cap top. Okay, Max Studio, size small. It's sleeveless. A little bit of a chevron pattern going there. It's very soft and it has an elastic bottom to it. Sleeveless, v-neck, elastic bottom. And that sort of pattern. That's made us very soft. I don't see another tag right off the bat, so I won't waste time looking for it. This is by London Times, size, it's a woman's size, 3X. So it's a plus size, whatever it is. It's a zipper on the back. It's a dress. It's lined. It's all lined. And it's below the knee. It's just a big flowered shift dress. Uh, stretchy, stretchy knit. Not sure what it's made out of, but I'm sure there's some polyester involved here. <coughs> the sleeves are like a uh, shawl collar. Well, no, it doesn't go in the front. It just goes around the sleeves and around the back. Just a big dress, shift dress. It's a fancy bra. Gray lace with some silver sparkle. <clears throat> Victoria's Secret. Good. Dream Angels in a 34D. This is a tiny little demi bra. Lace bra. Hook this baby up. There you go. Little tiny bra, demi bra. Lace. Something with sequins. It's by H&M again. It's a size six. It's just a silky sort of see-through and it has uh, sequins on one shoulder. I don't know where you would wear this, maybe with that little bra. I don't think so, though. What's that? Let me just say halfway through here, I'm not thrilled with this box. <laughs> hmm. 
The box came from Thread Up. Let me see where part of the country it came from. Because they come from all different parts. This one came from Mechanicsville, Pennsylvania. I get a lot of them from there. They come from there. I've gotten from some, some from Georgia. But most of the time they come from Pennsylvania. Here's a crushed crushed velvet. Fancy dress. Oh, it's long. By progress. Never heard. Never heard of it. It has a V-neck. You probably can't see because it's black. With a little tie here. And the skirt of it is all crushed velvet. Ooh, and it has a big slit on the side. On the one side. That's a high slit. <laughs> that would be, let me see here. This slit is almost up to the, your wazoo here. Halfway up the thigh. It's a little, there you can see it a little bit. It has some sparkles on the, on the top there. By progress. Uh, when I looked up that crushed velvet skirt, that, that was one of the pieces from this box, I think, right? Uh, crushed velvet is pretty popular. Again. Acetate, nylon, and elastane. So this may look better on the mannequin. It's a little uh, fancy dress. Oh, I'm hoping this is from Derek Hart. It is. Here's another Derek Rose pajama top. These pajamas, I have another one that I just listed. Uh, these pajamas go for 200 and some dollars a piece. Now, so far I only have the tops, no bottoms. But this is the same. This is a little, uh, they're caught, really nice cotton. And uh, with the white cording, just a little pajama top. And here's the tag. Derek Rose London. This is an extra small. I think the other one was too. No. Oh. I have learned a lot about that brand since I got that one piece. It would be wonderful if I found the bottoms in here. Here's a Kelvin Klein. Little uh, dress with very low pockets. This is like an above the knee dress. Has some uh, pleating here. You can see pleating. It's pleated front. And the pockets are great, are like big pockets on the sides by Kelvin Klein. However, it's a mystery size, unless it's in there somewhere. It's really loose fitting. Black uh, little dress. What is this? Oh, I got a corset. Oh my god. It's my Fredericks of Hollywood. Remember them? This is a new with tags. It's called the Jessica. 
This retails for $79.50. Fredericks of Hollywood. A, a huge push-up bra. It's a corset with little garters. And I bet this will sell. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if the size, yeah, the size is here. Uh, extra large. It doesn't say what the size of the bra is. It just says extra large. Okay, it's the first time I ever got a corset in one of these boxes. And it's brand new. It's all, it has bone, it's all boned, you know, like the old fashioned cor cor corsets. How <laughs> about that? My goodness. Okay. There's a string here from someplace. One string goes with something. Uh. This is by Exertion also, and it's a uh, small, just a v-neck, little cap sleeve t-shirt. Exertion is a uh, activity or an active wear brand. And this is a maroon color. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. You want to be on TV? Hmm? Want to be on TV? Come up here and say hello. You want to come up here? Come on. Here's Penny. We'll get on this products here. <laughs> there she is. Hey. She's such a good girl. She is so sweet. She went for her walk today with the, my dog walker. Didn't you? Yeah. I know it's getting to be dinner time. Okay, you can get them. Okay. What is this? On the top or the bottom? This is the top, I guess. Uh, this is by As You Wish. It's a size small. Just a little, uh, little dress, sort of crepey type fabric. Looks like a high low hem if lined. It's as small as you wish. Never heard of it. I am just not thrilled with this box. Here's another pair of pajamas, but they're not Derek Rose. These are by Soma. They're either navy blue or black with tiny little gold dots on it. And there's the Soma brand. Uh, size small. Sort of the same type of style, corded, long sleeve, button front. It's a washed out tag, so it's here, but it serves no purpose because you can't read it. This is uh, blue and gray. It's very washed out. It's just a pair of stretch pants, stretch on pants. Very, a lot of wash wear on these pants. I don't know. 
Let's see. Yeah. Size medium. I don't know about selling these. They're kind of well-worn. I might try them on myself. Although that waist is kind of tight. I don't like anything tight around my, my waist anymore. A pair of black stretch-on pants. This is by Gibson. Still has some tags on there. It's really stiff material. I have no idea what, what kind of fabric this is. By, by Gibson. Just a straight, has uh, bell sleeves. It's black, I believe. Here's the fabric tag, which is completely blank. Why would you put that in there? I don't even know what to say about this. Oh, uh, top. Hmm. Here's a, uh, this is by Love Tree in a small. It's a little top with buttons down the front, little teensy pockets. And the back is all, all sheer or semi-sheer. It's a little cardigan. Button down the front cardigan. And these are little pockets. However, the pockets, I bet those pockets hung out because somebody cut them off. <laughs> they just cut off the bottom of the pocket. So if you put anything in your pocket, it'd fall right on the ground. It looks like pockets, but it's not really pockets. A little cardigan. F-O-I for your info. I don't know what that means. Happy New Year to you too, Randy. Mm. Okay. Looks like a Forever 21. This is over the shoulder. Oop. I think that goes in the back. No. This is over the shoulder, over one shoulder. And why it would have cut out right there, I don't know. But it's a size small, of course. It's stretchy. A little stretchy nude uh, top. I don't know. A lot of strange pieces in this box. <clears throat> this is Disney in a size large. Lauren Con made by made for Lauren Conrad. And it says, I love Mickey. It's a sheer fabric, sort of sheer, almost like, no, sort of striped. Very pale pink, uh, cap sleeves. Just a great big, I love Mickey shirt. And a large, very comfy. <clears throat> this 
This is J. Crew. Uh, size zero petite. The little puff sleeves, crepey material. Buttons down has a little peplum. V neck. Something I can relate to. J. Crew. <laughs> This is you have to this tag is folded, it's made like that, so you have to sort of I have no idea how to read that. Have to honestly. Well, anyway, this is where, oh, it says Heart Club. I have no idea what this is. It's a little uh, top. The back has a collar like that. But I can't read the tag because it's all. I-N-U. B A N Y has a lot of Chinese lettering on it. So I have no idea what this piece is. Old Navy, Lux, extra small. This is one of those big, oversized, high, low. Uh, long sleeve tee and very soft that's Lux is a really really soft uh, fabric oversized in this olive green Ooh, this is silky real slippery silky Of course, it has no name. These look like pajama bottoms, except it's a skirt. This is, you can't even list this kind of stuff. There's no name, no fabric, no, no clue. It's like satin, really. Uh, I don't know. Into the Goodwill bag piece. This is W5. I had another piece of this short, oh, not too long ago. I think it's something fairly good. W5 uh, in a medium crepey type fabric with a um, puffy sleeve, like Swiss dot. This is black on black, black on black. Swiss dot, buttons down the front, cute little blouse. They look like wooden buttons, but I don't know if they're really wood, but looks like that. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is go through these and make a Goodwill bag. <laughs> That's what I think of this box. Uh, here's an activewear top. However, it's just by Forever 21, but at least it has a size and a brand. It's gray, like space dye, stretchy, Little top, Forever Twenty One sign there. Well, I said it had a size. The size is kind of worn out, so I'll have to go by the measurements. Something tie dye. 
by Prana, an extra large. This is a little uh, dress, empire waist, and goes down to like a tie-dye bottom. Just a slip-on dress, very soft, made in the USA. And I don't know what it's made out of, but it's uh, certainly a piece that I have to iron. <laughs> it's the summery little dress. I'm hoping I can make my uh, money out of this box. I'm pretty sure I can. After all, I have a corset. <laughs> a Fredericks of Hollywood corset. Another Forever 21 piece. In a large. It's a little camisole. I'm not sure if it's been cut. Maybe somebody cut that off. It's sort of like yeah, somebody cut this off. Sort of like velvet. So I don't know about this thing that either. <laughs> what is this? Oh. It's a very strange dress. Zara, Zara Woman. Uh, USA. My magnifying glass out. Large. It's a heavy knit zip down the back. And the sleeves have these ruffles on each sleeve short. It's uh, like a mini dress. Heavy knit dress by Zara Woman. There's another jacket. This is by Worthington though. Not a very good brand. I think it's sold in Walmart. Worthington 12 Petite. Just a little two button. Though it has big shoulder pads in. Maybe it's uh, sort of vintage. A little plaid uh, jacket. This is by Apartment 9 in a medium. Uh, it's black and white, sort of floral. It's, I think it's a tunic. It has its little tie belt. It has some, like, a quarter button. By Apartment 9. A little tunic top. <laughs> Munya, L-U-N-Y-A, Lunya, extra large, this is really heavy, like a sweater type, what is this, these are pants, these are like sweater pants. <laughs> really heavy, heavy sweater pants. Almost like a waffle weave. And the bottoms look, unfortunately, like they've been cut off. Yes, they're not even even. 
Somebody cut off the bottom of these. I am not going to list these. J. Crew. Yay for J. Crew. Extra small. High low. Little t shirt. Sort of like sweater type, thin sweater type material. Uh, three quarter sleeves. In this coral color. I swear, I think everything in this box needs ironed. Comfort colors. It's just a long sleeve t-shirt. However, <laughs> this is from a restaurant, I think. It has a little dog, S and G, it says on it. S and G. The little... It's like a fox hound or a little hound dog. And the back says, kiss my grits. Shrimp and grits. I bet that's a restaurant. Kind of funny. In a green, that's a size. I don't know. Oh, it has a still has a tag on it here for thirty-five dollars. So it's pretty new. If anybody wants a kiss my grits t-shirt, here we go. It says something on the arms too. Shrimp and grits. Boy, there's everything in this box. <laughs> Another little bra. Teensy weensy. And no name of any kind. And nope. Forever twenty one. This is the first box I've gotten that I've had a lot of Forever 21 things. Um, this is a size small. It's just a little mini skirt. Uh, sort of a big uh, crosses over here. Little mini skirt, window pane plaid, or window pane check. Under Armour has a waist zip pocket there on the back. A pair of nice stretch pants with some coral slashes of color on the legs. Under Armour with a no sizing. We'll have to go searching. At least we have the brand. <clears throat> I have no idea. And there's the emblem also. I think the last time I got a big box like this, it wasn't that good either. I'm going to turn off this light. It is just washing out everything. Uh, this is by Atmos Atmosphere. Size 10. It's a sweater. 
black sweater and a stretchy, skinny, full on sweater with a high mock neck. Let's see, it has some uh, texture to it. I don't think I'll be getting any more of these big boxes. I seem to do better with the, uh, like the 25 piece box. <clears throat> Reebok. It's a little, uh, muscle shirt has an open back slit on the back gray Reebok gym shirt shirt in a medium. I may have to keep that kiss my grits shirt. <laughs> oh, Forever 21 again. Small. You can't get anything for these pieces is the problem. This is uh, just a little sleeveless or sort of cap sleeve. Pull over top. Sweater by Dex, D-E-X, in a medium, sort of a crocheted, open crochet, stretchy, stretchy sweater. I think this is gray. It's different. And crocheted. It's a little knit, a little knit uh, halter top. It says as a tag. However, oh, it's made in Italy. And it's a hundred and hundred percent cotton, but we don't have a brand. At least it's made in Italy. It's just a little sweater bra top. Now you can't see it all. I have to do something about this lighting. Here, here's a catastrophe white and a half. Kay Unger in New York. This is satin, satin dress. Unless you're something spectacular, Kay Unger, that I don't know about. This is like a crossover plunging V-neckline, sleeveless. It's K Unger something wonderful. It's lined. I don't know. I have to look this up. This is a uh, size 10. Zips down the back. Who knows? This could be a $200 dress. <laughs> Most likely not, but. Near the bottom, I <clears throat> I know disappointed in this Marona size ten, just a sheath dress, black black with a 
back expose zipper. Probably knee length. However, it has belt loops and no belt. And I'm pretty sure that belt doesn't go with that dress. However, maybe it's, no. So it's missing the belt. Has pockets. I've been lucky up until this point with my with getting boxes. So it had to happen sooner or later. <laughs> uh, this is by so <laughs> just a little short cropped uh, tank top. Could be just a cut off, I'm not sure. Just by at so so. Old Navy, everyday short in a size six. Just a little shorts. It's by Pink, Victoria's Secret. It's a big oversized t shirt. Like a speckled, like bleach speckled shirt in size. What is this? It's oversized no matter what it is. One size. It's just a big, comfy, oversized t-shirt. Feels silky, but I don't know. Well, you can't even figure out what it is. I don't know. It has a zipper and it has a like one shoulder tie, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a halter. No, it's a halter dress. <laughs> it's a halter dress with the back uh, zipper and it ties at the back. It feels like silk. Is there a tag? Heck no. There's no tag of any kind. So we have no idea what size it is, what it is. No. And here's a little cotton dress. It's a cute print. And it's by Forever 21. Cute dress. However, it has belt loops. Well, it did. I'll just cut those off. Um, just a little cotton summer dress. It has uh, expandable or stretchy back. And just pull it on. A little mini, sort of mini dress. Oh, thank goodness. Here's a pair of denim shorts. <laughs> no, it's a denim skirt. <clears throat> By Dollhouse in a size three. Of course, it's juniors. Uh, just a little denim skirt. However, it's a junior size.
Wow. It's a pair of Disney pants in a size large from Disney Parks. They're cotton stretch, uh, stretch waist, just wide leg, straight leg, and has Mickey all over it. Mickey Mouse pants. In a size large. How about that? It has uh, pockets too. Oh my. What an assortment. And we have a faux leather skirt with all kinds of zippers. And with a tag that's cut out. Here's some tags in here. It's uh, the style is Myra. We have no idea what the brand is. Wash in cold water, so we know it's not leather. It's lined. This faux leather with lots of zippers. Zippers. Zippers up the front. Two two zippers up the front and one regular zipper opening in the back. It's a faux leather skirt. Which it had a brand name on it. Has anybody fallen asleep yet? Forever 21 in a medium. <laughs> Bumblebee. Thanks, you that was a funny show. Bumblebee. Oh, let me see what you have to say here. Yes, but tw Forever 21 sells tons of items per day on Poshmark. My finger gets tired scrolling through it all. And I remember the F. Every 21 items you sold on eBay quickly. Well, yeah. These lower cost good bo goods boxes help you help give you the needed items in a pinch. That's true. <clears throat> Another Forever 21. <laughs> uh, this is a cute little top, though. With the tie bottom. Oh, dear. A few more items here. No, this is just like a cotton tank top with no, why would somebody send this to thread up is my question. There's no tags of any kind in this. It's just a cotton tank, wrinkled tank top. Oh, good shorts. Divided, this is H&M, size 4, little denim, destroyed shorts. There you go. Something I'm familiar with. <laughs> Something uh, with the tag. 
This is by Zenobia. This was $18 at the store, a woven top. As a stretchy, a stretchy neck can be off the shoulder, I suppose. Oh, it has some straps so you don't lose it all together. Little sleeves. I could, I guess this could be a cold shoulder then if you use the straps. It's kind of pretty floral top. This is the second to the last piece. This is lacy. It's lacy and sheer over lining. I thought for a minute it was a slip, but I don't think it's a slip, it's a dress. It's a slip dress. No tag. No tag. The bottom is all ruffled and uh, I don't know. One more piece. A little pair of are you shorts? That's a little pair of black shorts by we just have a uh, made of polyester. No brand. Has a scallop, scallop edges though. Just a little pair of black shorts, knit, uh, sort of crepey knit, mystery brand. Of course, it had to end with a no brand thing, polyester. No idea. That's it, folks. I am not pleased with this box. Uh, let's see what people said here. <clears throat> and she would say, kiss my grits. Alice from uh, Mel's Diner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, hello, everybody that's here. I'm sorry this is such a bad box, but I believe Worthington is pennies. Well, maybe. Lisa, I got two jackets, women's jackets that look sort of nice um i'm getting rid of all my men's uh if anybody wants a men's sport coat or a suit they're less than ten dollars in my store plus shipping <clears throat> let me see this one Remember the 50 pound box usually have the cost of goods, half of the smaller boxes. So the cost of goods could be, yeah, it, yeah. This is a lot of, lot of things. So I'm sure they're, they're probably, this is probably maybe less than two. Well, I don't know if there's 120 pieces there. I bet it's under $2 a piece. 
It's just so much to go through and iron and I am not going to list things that are just not nice and no nothing to uh no tags no fabrics no nothing because it takes too much time okay that's it it's dark out i have to go put my chickens away and uh I'm glad I pulled those pieces out and photographed them so I can list them right away because it's going to take me a while to get through all this stuff. I still have this string belt here. I don't know what it's to. Maybe I'll find that out when I go through things. But uh, I will see you all on Sunday for sure to tell you what I sold this past week. And I will uh, see you all then. Thank you for joining me. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you then. Thanks, Bumblebee. I like your boxes so much better. <laughs> Bye.